Okay, so Ernie, why should I not be worried of the second half of the year when we know that people can go back to meeting people? I uh, don't need necessarily to do it automatically. They can meet people because the, we've got the pandemic under control. And perhaps car companies can produce more cars, which might reduce the value of used cars. And everybody's moved to has to move. So maybe everyone's already bought their cars. Sure. Well, I think there's a lot going on there. Um, I, I think there's been a lot going on in the macro economy over the last you know, two years, give or take. I think to us, what we focus on is is our customers and, and focus on ourselves. And I think if you look back to you know Q1 of 2019 uh, versus Q1 of 2021, you know the auto industry is in a really similar spot. From a macroeconomic perspective, we had a pandemic, and then we had stimulus, and then we had you know vaccination rates and, and more stimulus, and we've had supply constraints. We've had all these things that have happened, um, but the industry is flat. You know, if you look at 2019 Q1 to 2021 right. Q, Q1, the industry in general is flat. If you look at Carvana, you know we've grown by two and a half times. We've grown our GPU by $1,200. We've levered EBITDA by 600 basis points. So I think you know what we do is we focus on our customers, and, and by doing that, uh, we think that we're well served in the long haul, and we'll continue to do that. And we, we all think the macroeconomic environment right now, at least, is is great. Um, but but in the end, you know, all that matters is the quality of experience you deliver to your customers, your union economics compared to your competitors, um, and, and then you know how good a job you do executing every day when you come in. Okay, so Ernie, let me understand your business model. I told you that I uh, bought a car and returned it. Uh, I don't know how much that cost you, but the goodwill that you bought from me is huge. I have to feel like you can li- overpay a little bit from dealers because you have a goodwill model. But I haven't been able to figure out how you've improved the gross profit per unit in a goodwill model. Sure. Well, I, I mean, I think it's it's a lot of hard work over a lot of time from a, a lot of great people inside the company. So. You know, we're a pretty deeply vertically integrated company. When you buy a car from us, it's a car that we bought um, probably these days from another customer. It's a car that we've put $1,000 of parts and labor into to certify and bring it up to our standards. It's a car that we're going to deliver to you ourselves. Um, you know, you're going to probably get financing through us, which we provide um, using our own services. And so because we're doing so much of the work, there's just fewer players in between. And that puts us in a spot where we can invest in low prices, but also invest in a great experience for our customers. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.